universal gospel duty is to God there is a higher mission before us namely the promotion of the kingdom of God that is the rule of peace and goodwill on earth duty to God means a lot more than saying a prayer every time you need a favor a lot more Duty to God is simply that voluntary gesture you must make and remake a million times in your lifetime as a... David Hahn, also known as the Radioactive Boy Scout, built a nuclear reactor in his mom's backyard out of common household items when he was 17. As shocking as that is, that a teenager built a nuclear reactor at his mom's house, the story of what made it all possible and the terrible mess it created is even more insane. Nicknamed the Radioactive Boy Scout, David Hahn at the age of 17 attempted to create a homemade breeder reactor in his mom's backyard shed in Michigan. He did with chemistry from a young age and spent most of his early years conducting amateur chemistry experiments which would often lead to small explosions panicking neighbors, with David eventually being charged with larceny in Michigan for stealing radioactive material from smoke detectors in his apartment building. In his mugshot, his face was covered with sores indicating exposure to large amounts of radioactive material. After a 90-day stint in jail, Han was evaluated for psychiatric problems and held for uh, Chapter 11 bankruptcy, which has been long anticipated as the organization faces a wave of lawsuits over um, generations of alleged child abuse. The Boy Scouts of America has you know, acknowledged that there was a serious problem and that they uh, need to address this. Part of this bankruptcy uh, proceeding will be to create a victim trust, compensation trust, to be able to pay uh, and to find you know, uh, the money to be able to pay for them through bankruptcy. This will uh, put a halt to all further lawsuits from victims. It's kind of a way to cut off those claims. It is no secret that the Boy Scouts of America has had a history of, of alleged sexual abuse. Um, but dating back to the 90s, there were reports that came out, particularly in the, uh, there was a Washington Times investigation. There were kind of uh, early reports about this uh, longstanding problem of, of uh, troop leaders being accused of child sexual abuse and uh, not being removed from the organization. Organization. In a landmark case in Portland in which uh, a jury awarded $18.5 million in punitive damages to a former Boy Scout, the perversion files were published, which were these files, internal files, that detailed generations of uh, predatory behavior. They've also tried to stay afloat by, you know, becoming more inclusive. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Recha HaKwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. And Shalom, honors to you, brethren, Shalom to the elect. So I was looking at some news today, and they was talking about the boy, the boy scouts are back. And I was like, how are they back? But it's not it's not hard to figure out I believe they've been having situations where they would have to shut down camps and open them back up and they would what they were doing and I, I actually did a video this is really a Christian group pretty much out of the Roman Catholic Church right and you can do the history on the Boy Scouts and where it started and all that but you know of course you know they was oppressing Jake but you can clearly see that they, they had history uh, where they were shutting down Boy Scout groups and they would shut down three or four of them at a time and what they would do is rotate the leaders the pedophiles like saying it's your turn my turn next your turn runs around again and they would keep rotating and as the children, other children would leave new children would come in so they would constantly use the same 
you know, pedophiles, so to speak, the same um, people, these same men, was constantly, you know, doing what they was doing with young boys, right? And it, it all makes sense on, or it all comes to the understanding of why in, in Roman Catholicism and what's been happening into those so-called churches and the little boys being molested, in some cases little girls, but mostly little boys, right? It's something in them that they can't help themselves with their grubby hands on innocent or young, you know, young boys, you know? So it's what it is. They're like a, um, which I've seen, they have places in the hood that close down because of contaminated food, food poisoning, and they'll get these Chinese people to send, uh, open up under new management and they'll get somebody else to run it. And all they'll do is kind of paint the store, give it a new color, a new look. And that's all the Boy Scouts of America is going to do. So you thought it was all over. But you know what they're going to do through, through the media, medium? They're going to sweep it all under the rug again, right? <laughs> and then they're going to bring a new hook. The media is going to kind of hide it, but then they're going to throw the commercials out there and get a new generation. That's all that's going to happen, man. Now, I've did videos on this before. I was going to do something else, but this pops up. I said, man, this is crazy. Proverbs 4 and 14, it says, Enter not into the path of the wicked and go not into in the way of evil men. But you know what's going to happen? These people are always going to trust in the system. And that's why we talk about the road to the MTOB, the MLTB. Because people are always going to have faith and trust. I just did a video early, earlier with the water. And there was whistleblowers saying that they knew it had E. coli in the water, but they let it go. And it's always in Jacksonville, Flint, Michigan, and various other places, all in the hoods of Jake's, all where Israelites are at. But this place will claim it's, Christ, it's under the Christian authority, right? But you know what will happen? People will stand and get in line, and they'll vote again anyway. And this is all going to happen with this, you know? And then what they're going to do is start making up clauses and contracts. I know how the system works, man, on, on those levels. Then $18.5 million, ain't nobody getting all that money. And then they said it's under stipulations on how far the abuse went. You know, they can't make this stuff up. How far the abuse went. How far did it go? Depends on how much money you get. Because once you file Chapter 11, like any business... Once you file Chapter 11, the debt is wiped, wiped clean. But there's insurance or there's money held for those you know, particular situations, and they cover it, right? You got bonds or whatever that cover certain things, but it only covers but so much. These people have been doing this for so many years. You know, a lot of people ain't going to get, these children ain't going to get all that money. It's going to run out, just like if you get a, like a, a lead paint case or, you know, whatever, something of a big organization. They, they give you, they, ha they have a certain amount of money and you have to f file and claim to try to receive compensation. So out of 18.5 million, if you didn't molest it, you know, 20,000 children, well, we know it's probably way more than that. You got to try to spread all this money out and accordingly because the insurance don't want to really want to pay for that. It's crazy, man. But we've been telling you. But nobody is going to say that this is dangerous. This form of Christianity is dangerous. Nobody's saying that. Anyway, wo woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it. <laughs> yeah. This is what they do. When uh, they work evil upon their beds, you know. And when they find opportunity, they come out 
and say, hey, this is a great place to come. We can raise your children. And you know what? All the simple simpletons will go do it anyway. Just like the school system. Just like the school system. We, we at the end of this thing, we see our things here. Here in Baltimore, children are dying. There's more guns than it is drugs. They done confiscated like a thousand guns this year or, or in the last year or so. Yeah, out of the schools. But people will continue to send their children to these schools, man. You know, personally, not me. You know, there's homeschool, there's other things that you can do. But, hey, man, it's what it is. You don't even know now if your child is going to go to school and make it home. Here in Baltimore, it's like three children died. And, it, and it, these dudes walking around, these young men, 12 years old, walking around with handguns. <laughs> now, I wonder how they're getting these guns. But, you know, that's another video. But they're getting them. So we can see the, 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 the pump is being brought down in Babylon, man. And what they're trying to do is keep it going, and they can't. It says, and they covered fields and take them by violence, and that's what he's done. And this is another example of how they force converted us to Christianity. It was kind of guilting to send your children to these Boy Scout communities, and you know they was getting down on little Jake's, man. You already know. That was the first prize that they wanted right there. You already know, man. And take them by violence in houses. Let's go to Joel real quick. This came to my mind, you know, just now it came to my spirit. Let's go to Joel, the third chapter. I, I won't make this long, you know, Lord's will. Well, it's Lord's where he wanted to go. Uh, Joel 3 in uh, two and uh, let me go to three and they have cast lots for my people and given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink but somehow Christian says Deuteronomy 28 don't fit us but what about this so now all of a sudden you're going to read some commentary or you're going to read something or somewhere somehow some outside source to say that this is talking about another people yeah right if anybody fit the curses it's us and it, and what they what they not showing you is a lot of jakes uh young jakes in these boy scouts and then you have the girl scouts which the girls get molested too so you 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 see the you see the pattern like with the roman catholic church and then the nuns the boys and then the girls. It's the same damn thing, man. Ephesians 6 and 11. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. We got things that's really starting to heat up. I mean, I, every time, every day I look at the news, it's like each day it's like I at least hear 10 more different new events. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness. Yeah, because these people, like I said, they will somehow, you know, cancel out the uh, the leaders of these organizations, and they'll ship them. And this is true. This is not no uh, made up story. This is true. I did, actually did a video on it like a year ago they actually let me say alleged but the news brought it out that they was actually taking the men that was getting caught they was putting them in other uh, um, sites and that's what the Roman Catholics do when they get caught they'll ship the priests knowing that these priests got grubby hands on little boys man they know it but they'll send them somewhere else and they'll send the other priest that was you know doing the molestation over somewhere else and all they would do is switch roles and have it when you really think about it it's like having a, a, a big house full of children and men just taking their turn that's all it really is these old these old uh, Idumians right and I'm not surprised that some of the Jakes who caught on to that is doing it too and they'll take them and move them here 
and then they'll switch them around and then everybody just getting turns and then the children too embarrassed to speak on it yeah you know, it's crazy man but this is Babylon what do you expect it says where take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh that ye may be able to withstand it, uh, the, in the evil day bad times and having done all to stand stand therefore having your loins girded about with truth and having the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace you got to know that this ain't peace this is why we're doing these videos this is why we go out week by week this is why we read Ezekiel 9 and 4 right uh, uh, talking about um, uh, set a mark on a men aside and cry for the abominations man we want quietness, and this is not peaceful. You don't know what's going to happen to you, your family. You don't know anything. Now, we trust in the Lord, obviously. But the, the course is still out there. The, the, uh, the examples are out there. The potential is still out there, man. It's all what the Lord wants. Right? So anyway, I, I'm going to end it there not much else to say to it. The whole point of the video is they shut down this organization, this Christian organization that they knew was all kind of illegal and abominable acts going on in this organization. Then they managed to let everybody sleep on it, pay everybody off, and then it's a new cycle again, and they're going to open it up, and people are not going to pay attention because Jake don't. Nobody does. All they see is a well, a way to, especially mothers who have sons that they can't really raise the way they want, so to speak. So they putting them in the hands of other men that claim that they can raise them. And yeah, you see where that's going to go. Also, before I close, there was this guy who was a nuclear. I don't know. He built his own reactor. But he was a Boy Scout. They only gave him 90 days in jail. And you know what would happen if that was a Jake. But this is all Christianity. Anyway, that's all I have on that.